Shout out to my fellas always. It's a little hot out here. Got my arms out showing my, my them, them guns and stuff like that. But fellas, I just want to talk to you guys and let you guys know as men, as a man, we are always trying to strive to be the best versions of ourselves and trying to be better at what we do. And one of the most important things when it comes to a man is his finances and being successful in his own right. And a lot of times we equate having a lot of money with success, but that's not so the case. But in order for us to get the bag or to make a lot of money, guys, like I always say, I always go back to the basics, your character, your habits, you know, uh, writing your dreams and your goals down. And I hate to tell you guys, if you are not willing to be patient, if you are not willing to actually learn, if you're not uh, willing to sit down and to read and to learn something, it's not going to happen for you because we have to know a little bit about what we are actually trying to do or whatever field that we're in. Now, granted, there are some things that you can do where you don't have to know you know too much but for the most part with this new age media and technology in order to elevate whatever that we're trying to do we're going to have to have that technical and that online presence in order to market and uh to be better uh at what we are actually trying to do but i just want to say to you guys guys don't get caught up in the media hype because to be honest with you these social media gurus or these social media platforms these guys is not talking about shit really they're basically just gossiping about a lot of topics and shit that really can't help you on your journey to actually being a better version uh for yourself when it comes to building a business or actually uh, trying to pursue your dreams and goals, we always have to go back to the basics and we always have to examine our character and our habits that's going to get us there. Guys, it's not going to happen overnight. I've addressed this over and over again, that your dreams and goals and being financially free, it doesn't happen overnight. And a lot of time, guys, when they come up against a roadblock, they just want to stop. They want to quit. But I'm telling you guys, perseverance, patience, consistency, and the same old routine in what you're trying you know, to accomplish. But you're also going to have to go back to the classroom, guys. You're going to have to, I mean, if you have problem reading and comprehension, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you unless you're going to find a vehicle that you, that's going to get you to financially freedom where you don't have to do too much of it. You can also, you know, if it's something has to do with actually using your hands and stuff and not your mind where you're going to have to learn how to, um, to market on a vast scale for social media and stuff but i just don't want you guys to get caught up in all this hype you know uh these social media gurus you know selling you a curriculum or selling you some information but what they don't tell you is these guys has been doing this stuff for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. So they have already have the experience. And if they're not willing to teach you the things that you're actually going to need to get there, like motivation, self-discipline, uh, you're going to have to learn about the industry that you're actually in. If they're not willing to teach you those things and give you the nuts and bolts about what you're going to endure and what you're going to have to do, there's no need. You know, I'm just sorry to say everybody is not going to make it. Everybody is not going to be successful. That's why they have the 1%, the 5%, the 10%, the 15% percentile of people that reaches a certain financial level and stuff like that but if you really apply yourself and have a big enough reason to pursue the dreams and goals to become financially free it can happen for you but a lot of times you know people choose a vehicle to where they are weak in don't choose a vehicle 
that's going to make you f or where choose a vehicle where you're actually trying to become financially fee free to where you are weak in. If I'm weak in a certain area, I'm going to find out what my strengths are and I'm going to pursue that vehicle because a lot of times you can be sold a, a bunch of hype and you think you're going to make this all of this money overnight but it's it's really not going to happen that way it never happens overnight unless you just you know have some type of big real estate deal or whatever that can put you there overnight but yet still you're going to have to have a level of education to put certain real estate deals together unless you're going to well well, no, I'm not. Well, yes, I'm going to say it. Unless you're actually just, you know, out for a finder's fee, but you're, or, you know, finder's fee meaning you're finding deals or you're finding, you know, real estate properties, you know, for other people that can actually put the gears, get, excuse me, deals together, but you're really not going to make any money there. So, once again, guys, Always, always, always go back to the basics and examine your character, examine your motivation, examine your why. But you're going to have to develop some type of patience. You're going to have to learn this technological game all over again. You're going to have to read repetitiously. It's going to take a little time. And I'm just going to be honest with you. It can happen, but it's not going to happen the way that people is portraying that's going to happen on social media. Social media is really a place where people is just gossiping. And it's just, you know, it's kind of sad to see grown men just gossiping like women and stuff. Guys, that's not going to get you there. I learned a long time ago. Fuck what's going on in the world. Keep your head up and keep your head down and keep grinding in what you're doing because if you get soaked in by the, all this social media bullshit, you're going to develop more time following and looking at other people on the social media.